The enduring mystery of the Zodiac Killer has captivated the public for decades, with countless theories and suspects emerging over the years, resurfacing with the Netflix documentary This is the Zodiac Speaking. The Zodiac documentary also presents new evidence. One of the most compelling figures in the case has been Detective Dave Tuskai, the lead investigator for the San Francisco Police Department, SFPD. As detailed in the documentary, Tosky's involvement with the case was deep and personal. Tosky's preoccupation with the crimes was evident throughout his career, even after he retired from the SFPD. Tosky's unwavering belief in Allen as the Zodiac, despite the lack of definitive proof, has been a subject of much debate and speculation. His relentless pursuit of Zodiac suspects and his enduring legacy continue to fascinate true crime viewers, especially in light of this is the Zodiac speaking's revelations. Dave Tuskai left the SFPD in 1985 and worked in various security jobs. Tuskai left homicide and later the police force altogether. Dave Tuskai led the Zodiac investigation and, although there were other key players, it was essentially his case. He was pulled from the investigation in 1978 and no longer worked in homicide. During this time, he struggled with his health and was clearly haunted by the case, even forging a letter to the Chronicle praising his own work, which he called an ill-advised indulgence, Washington Post. In 1985, he retired from the SFPD and worked in numerous private security positions, from head of security for hospitals and upmarket hotels to the manager of Globe Security. Tuskai worked tirelessly in these positions and spoke of retirement in the early 90s as he approached 70, however, as of 2002, he still worked in some capacity as the vice president of North Star Security Services, Zodiac Unmasked. He also continued to visit the site of Stein's killing on its anniversary, ruminating on whether they could have done more. It is striking how often he thought of the Zodiac who could still be alive long after his retirement. However, he experienced the lingering feeling of injustice, not uncertainty over the killer's identity. In the same interview, he stated, I think it is solved. Dave Tuskai died in 2018 from a long illness. Tuskai died in his home at the age of 82. Dave Tuskai died on January 6, 2018, at age 86 in his home in San Francisco. His daughter, Linda Tosca Chambers, said the illness that led to his passing was pneumonia, New York Times. In every obituary, he is remembered as a colorful character in the way he dressed, from his bow ties to his plastic-tipped cigarillos. He inspired fictional cops, most famously Clint Eastwood's Inspector Dirty Harry Harold Francis Callahan. He will also always be remembered for the case that haunted him for the rest of his life, he often expressed his regret that he could never read Zodiac his Miranda rights. When the author Robert Graysmith informed Tuskai that Don Chaney's comments about Arthur Lee Allen wanting to call himself the Zodiac and hunt people were true, he replied, that doesn't surprise me at all. Tosky's biggest career regret was not being able to charge Allen, who was always his man and whose arrest would have brought survivors some relief, not to mention bring him closure as a detective. That's all I wanted to do was close the case, he said, Zodiac unmasked, a heartbreaking impossibility, as proven by this is the Zodiac speaking.